Alright, so we've got this stuff. I got it from Amazon. It's called Be Live. Sorry, I keep forgetting what side of my phone the camera is on. Moonburn. Um, contains Garcinia, Cambogia, apple cider vinegar, and then there's more ingredients listed back here. Uh, hydro... Hydroxypropyl, methyl cellulose, microcrystalline, here comes a cat, magnesium stearate. And the supplement provides you with chromium, black pepper, melatonin, L-theanine, Garcinia cambogia, and apple, apple cider vinegar. So, uh, it's a weight loss supplement, but it's more than that because... Right here on its Amazon listing, there's a cat crawling on me right now. It's a nice cat, though. But if I yell, it's because she clawed me. Anyway, there's the benefits. Uh, according to the Amazon listing, it suppresses appetite, blocks fat and carbohydrate storage, boosts metabolism, breaks down unhealthy carbohydrates, enhances digestion, reduces body fat mass, increases mood, and improves sleep and relaxation. Now, according to science... None of that is really proven, it seems. Let's see. Well, it says it might be a little valuable, but not really worth it. I'm not going to read all the different studies. Um, it is apparently good for type 2 diabetics and those with high cholesterol, because it makes it easier for your body to use glucose. So, maybe that's nice if you're type 2 diabetic. I am not. Everyone thinks I am, but I'm not. People think, okay, just to be clear, I'm fat. Yes, I'm fat. Okay, people seem to assume this means that I'm unhealthy. I am not. I'm not diabetic. I am not pre-diabetic. My A1C is normal. It's on the low end of the normal range, even, and not the high end. Uh, my cholesterol is normal, low normal on the bad cholesterol. My blood pressure is normal. Everything about me is healthy. Yay, healthy. So, yes, I'm fat. Get over it. Um, let's see. The side effects of this stuff include dizziness, dry mouth, headache, upset stomach, or diarrhea. These are side effects for Garcinia cambogia because, I mean, apple cider vinegar, everybody's, most people I know have at some point in their lives, for reasons that I cannot pa possibly fathom, have consumed apple cider vinegar. It's disgusting. Um, this may interact badly with asthma and allergies, diabetes medicines, or diabetes, depending upon how you want to say it, including pills and insulin, iron for anemia, pain medications, prescriptions for psychiatric conditions, statins to lower cholesterol, and warfarin. So, more or less, this is a case of, like every other supplement on earth, there's no proof that it works. Say hello. There's none at all. There's there's some studies that show that it may have some slight benefits. The cat likes the bottle. The cat likes the phone. Get out of the way, cat. Um, the cat is messing with my computer. But anyway, um, it may have some benefits. It may not. There's a little bit of science out there, but not enough to conclusively determine whether or not this stuff has any real benefit to it. So, if you are looking for a weight loss supplement, then speak to your doctor because like everything else never take any supplement even a vitamin or an over-the-counter pill without first speaking to your medical professionals because you may have a condition or you may be taking a medication that is contraindicated with that supplement or this supplement in this case so don't do it without medical approval and if you don't have a regular doctor, get one, because even if you've got nothing wrong with you, you should be seeing a doctor regularly. And also, if you're not seeing a doctor regularly, you have no idea if you've got something wrong with you. So, yeah. Ah, uh, yuck, my cat's got a tick. Okay, well, anyway. This stuff is for weight loss and sleep. It does contain melatonin, so it would probably help with the sleep. But, oh, maybe it's not a tick. But yeah, as I was saying, um, speak with your doctor if you're interested in this or any other supplement. Not a tick. Okay. But yeah, speak with the doctor first.